Hi guys, so thanks again for tuning in. I know it has been a while since I posted. Um, life is crazy. Obviously, it's crazy right now if you're watching this kind of in real time just because of coronavirus and everything. But um, my life in general has been kind of hectic. I started a new job at the beginning of the year and I've been really pushing um, to make my skincare company grow and launch and so of course YouTube has taken a bit of a backseat. Um, also these videos on formulating take way 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 more time and thought than one on like a sunscreen or makeup and that's just because it's a lot of editing it's a lot of actually doing the recipes the formulas and then um, I just haven't been as eager to put out new videos um, that's just me I don't we could go into depth on that and try to figure it out, but I'm not going to do that right now. So that is just a little bit of an update. But I did want to let you know that this video is a really, really cool video because I am using what you saw in the title, Sucra Gel. Um, this ingredient is made of sugar esters and it's a natural ingredient, natural. Um, but basically, if you've ever used an oil cleanser where you, it's like an oil, you put it on your face on dry skin and then you rinse it off and it turns from that oil consistency to a milky, watery consistency and just like slides off your face. That's what this is. It's an incredibly interesting ingredient. It's a little hard to work with. I actually have found it to be not as hard as a lot of people said, but um, you know, it does take some getting used to and I, just as a word of caution, if it feels like it's taking forever, you don't even know how much I cut out of this, like editing wise, um, because it does take forever. It takes more than twice as long as a normal formula to create. And it's just, it's a little finicky. So while you're going, try to be a little bit more cautious than you think you need to be and you're probably gonna be good then. Um, anyway, let me know if you have questions on how to make it. I do make a blend with the Sucre Gel and Sucre Blend blend because that is what the manufacturer recommends so if you are going to be making this I would recommend doing that as well and I will list all the ingredients in the description below but without me babbling on and on here is the rest of the video and thanks again for tuning in I know it's been a while starting out you are going to need a few beakers I have two here obviously your scale I started with a small immersion blender and a pipette to put the oil into it and the sucra gel so I got this from Formulator Sample Shop. This is a small one. I have a larger one as well, but it is quite expensive, so keep that in mind. So in my smaller beaker, I have a 200 milliliter one. I am going to put that on the scale and start putting in my Sucre Gel. And as you can see, it has a little bit of a thicker consistency, but it does pour out pretty easily. Um, it's not so viscous as like a normal oil, so just keep that in mind. And then I put the exact amount that I want in there. Once I have gotten to that point, I'm going to be adding the Sucre Blend. This is also from Formulator Sample Shop. So you, it's up to you, I think, to decide if you want to use Sucre Blend. The manufacturer does recommend it, so I went with it. I, I can't tell you what it would be like without it since, again, I have only used it with, but that is up to you. So you will add that to the amount that you need, like always, and then you start blending. I start off with just um, a metal rod just to make sure that I get all the little bits and pieces mixed up. But then one of the main things is that you want to stir it until it forms a whitish liquid. Um, so I started using my small immersion blender. And the thing that I will say over and over with Sucre Gel, you need to blend and stir until you think you've overdone it. You will not overdo it. As you can see, it now has like a white viscous form to it. Next up, I'm gonna be measuring out my oils. So I have a 250 milliliter beaker and you can use whatever blend of oils you want. That is the fun part of it. Um, and just start measuring them up. Obviously I spilled here, so when you have a chance, clean up your spill. That's always a good practice and safe and hygienic formulation. So then I added plum seed oil, which is one of my favorite oils. Again, you can use any oils that you want. 
I measured it to the amount I wanted, and then I added the next one, which is rosehip seed oil, again, another of my favorites. And we're doing the same thing. This should come as no surprise. You're just adding them to the amount specified in your formulation. Last one is castor oil. Now that we have our two different phases ready, we are going to take a pipette, and this is important. Start stirring your sucra gel, sucra blend, and adding just a pipette at a time as you stir the, the final formulation. You're going to continue doing this until you have added all of the oil into the formulation. You can, at one point, you'll notice that you need to switch to maybe a larger blender, and that's what I did here. So again, I will reiterate, it looks like I'm doing a small amount at a time. That's because I am, and that is the key to it. If you add too much of the oil at once, especially in the beginning, your formulation is going to fall apart. The, the key to sucra gel is that you mix it until you think you've overdone it. You're not going to mix it and overdo it, but you just keep doing it. So now you can start to see that the formula is thickening quite a bit, which is exactly what you want. So I said that this is the longest stage. It takes about 20 minutes total. So obviously I edited quite a bit out, but this is the consistency that you will get. Next up is kind of your final stage that you would do in any formulation. I'm adding um, a preservative, glycerin, as you can see here. And then I will be adding some vitamin E to it as well. And once again, you are going to stir all that in. Again, you want to stir it, this time not so much to create the formulation, but to mix all the ingredients. And then we're going to bottle. And you can put it on the scale if you're going to sell it. That way you know how much is in. Um, you don't have to. And then it is a little messy at times, so make it so it looks pretty if you want. And then you will label and finish it up. As you can see here, I just used a very basic label. Um, I also have more professional ones that I sell, but if it's just for home, just label it, put the date so you know when you created it, and voila, you are finished. This is the product that I sell and how it works. I like to demonstrate this to people when they come to buy it. So thanks again for watching, guys. Hope this helps.